since, since the very beginning uh, of the Copicamp conference, uh, uh, every year I'm uh, making the same, almost the same speech. And, uh, uh, and the speech, and my usual speech goes like that, we need to legalize non-commercial sharing, no matter what. Um, so uh, today I, I would like to discuss uh, something different. Uh, so, the copyright discourse in Poland, but as well in, in Europe, is framed uh, in a way uh, which antagonizes the creators and the audience, the writers and the readers. Uh, and uh, it bases on the assumed conflict of the interests. Um, and uh, this is the story we are being told. And the only problem with this story, in my opinion, is that this story is not true. Because this is the story of antagonizing the weak, uh, the, 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 of antagonizing the people who are uh, uh, underprivileged, uh, and uh, of people who are being controlled and uh, who are being exploited. And uh, there is no real conflict uh, uh, there. And uh, uh, it's, it's a very, very popular saying of Piotr Waglowski, we got seven billion creators in the world, which is kind of true, uh, because we all make photos, we all comment um, the, on the internet, we update our statuses and so on and so on and so on. We are creators. We create works uh, according to the definition uh, in uh, uh, corporate law. But of course, uh, when, when someone says that, that the audience is robbing the creators, it's, it, it's, it's not what he means. The, he means only the professional creators. And there is kind of question, okay, let's talk about professional creators. How many professional creators we do have in Poland? And um, this, uh, this, this question seems to, 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 to be an easy one, because actually the professional creators um, um, uh, have a special privilege in our uh, in our in our tax system, so uh, it's we do have a data. We do have a data. We just just we need we need to get to the minister of finance, and we need to ask minister of finance. Okay, how many people uh, uses uh, this exception from the from from uh, uh, in our tax law? And then we will get the information how many c professional creators we do have. Easy? It's not easy. Half a year ago. I asked this question to the Minister of Culture. Minister of Culture is responsible for copyright law and for creators and so on and so on. And the Minister of Culture answered, we don't know. We never asked this question. We don't know how many creators, uh, professional creators we do have in Poland. So uh, because I'm sitting in an in a, in a NGO board uh, at Minister of Culture, I, 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 I pushed this question through, the, through, the, through this board. This question was sent uh, to the Minister of Finance, Minister of Finance uh, answered it with silence. And it's not only that um, we don't have this data yet, it's also that uh, no one seems really interested in knowing how many creators we do have. Because, um, because, um, because, um, because pro probably because when the, the copyright discourse is framed around the perceived conflict of interest, it's not the creators we have in mind. It's just, you know, the very, the very small percentage of, the, of those creators who are associated with uh, certain lobbies. And uh, those are those really benefited uh, within the system. And this is a problem because uh, if you are a professional creator and you use this tax exemption, basically what you lose is all the social security benefits. That also means that 25 years after the fall of the communism, there is a growing number of people which, if they will come to the age of retirement, they will end up without any pension benefits and um, in a very insecure position. And this wave of the people is coming and, uh, and because this, those people will, will come to the age of retirement in the next five to 10 years. So, it's, so from the social point of view, it's a very interesting question. How many of those people uh, uh, we have, how many of those people will end up you know, uh, uh, in, uh, in uh, 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 asking, asking the government to, to for at least some money because they don't have, they don't have pensions? Um, 
So uh, this is the reality we are talking about. And, uh, uh, and there is, uh, so what I would like to, 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 to call today is that we need to end this, uh, this stupid conflict, this false conflict. And uh, we need to stand together for the week. And uh, uh, how we can do this? Well, uh, let's legalize non-commercial sharing. <laughs> and uh, let's legalize non-commercial sharing in a way which benefits uh, the creators. And uh, two years ago, we asked Professor Egram to, uh, to, to, to speak on Copycam uh, about his proposition, uh, which is called Creative Contribution. And uh, we published a book of, the, of Professor Egram uh, in Polish. Uh, and the deal is we legalize non-commercial sharing, and in the same time, we introduce a payment, a form of a tax, some may say, um, to, uh, to distribute those money to those who create, but not the, the, you know, the, 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 those professional creators which, which are registered uh, with, in, in, in certain, in certain uh, bodies, just but all the creators which need the money and which, and which find uh, themselves in a difficult uh, situation. And uh, this is something we would like to do in the coming year. It will be a very interesting year for copyright law, both locally in Poland and in the European Union. There are huge reforms coming, and I would really, really like to speak more in the next year on the creative contribution or different forms of it, uh, because uh, Frankly, I believe we have no other choice than ending this war. Thank you very much. Thank you.